what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to see how we can add buttons to the headers of our navigation so this is actually a playlist of react navigation and today's video is a new episode where we are going to see how we can add buttons to the header All right so we're going to see how we can add buttons and make it manipulate like the state of our application right so the button is going to be on the header and then when you click on it it's going to manipulate the state of the application you know change update some data on the application etc so that's what we're going to see how we can do in today's video so if you want to see or watch the full playlist the link should pop up at the top in here and somewhere at the top and then you can click on it and then go ahead and watch the full playlist of this tutorial okay let's get into the video and start working on it so what we want to do here is so currently we are on the home screen right so we have this home screen here and then we have also have a detail screen okay and currently on our simulator we are on the home screen so when you click the details button right it should route you to the detail screen so this is the detail screen now what we want to do here is to add a button here and we want the button to perform a certain action when we click on that button so that's what we're going to see how we can do in today's video so first of all let's move to the app.js file and where we've configured our stacks we can now update it so within the um, the, the stack for the details in the options we want to add another option so the option we want to add here is header right Right, so this header right allows us to add a component to the right side of the header okay so we do this and then we make an arrow sort of function here and then since it's a button we want to use we can use the button directly a react button and then get that to work so let's see what copilot is giving us so we have the button here let's make sure it's been imported from react native good so we've imported the button from react native here so now we have with, within the header right option here we have a button here with the title save let's we can change this to count okay let's make it count and then on press or let's make it alert and then we have given an on press event here so on press of this button we want to alert saved or let's just alert something like button Okay, so we have this button here. So now when we route to the the detail screen, we should see a button at the right side. Good. So as you can see, we have a button here. Okay. Now when we click on it, it alerts button clicked, just like we wanted to. Now this is cool, right? This is cool. But what if we want to manipulate data on the detail screen? Because right now we are on the app screen, right? And then we are actually uh, money changing things in the stack directly but what if you want to change things directly in the in the detail screen okay it's very simple if you want to do that so if you want to do this we first of all need to put in a placeholder button okay we need to put in a placeholder button in the stacks so right now we have a button here right so we don't need it to have any on press if on press event here and let's remove the color here as well so we're going to remove them but then this button is going to be here so that when we um, add a needed codes to update it it's going to know that okay within the detail stack there's a button that we want to make perform some action okay so that's what we want to do here so within the detail screen file we are going to add in some code here so it's going to be in a use effect block so what we're going to say is use effects let me just put the use the snippet and then clear everything here let me make sure the use effect is being imported from react and then within the dependency area we are going to put navigation like so okay so the goal here is that um within the detail screen right in the detail screen we want to add a new text down here so we are going to say i want to add a new text down here so let's copy this and then bring it down here paste it here we want to say count right we want to have count here and then let's add a state let's bring a u state let's define a u state here and say count let's set the count 
and then let's make sure the use state is being imported from react and let's set the initial value to zero okay so where we have within the components right where we have the text count to be eight we are going to put the value of count here now the goal here is that in the details screen now as you can see we have counted and zero the goal here is that in the details screen when we hit the alert button when we hit the alert button we want the value of count to increase okay when we hit the alert button we want the value of count to increase so now that we have this use effect block here we can now manipulate the button in the header now how are we going to use it we are going to use the something called navigation.set option so this is this is a property from the navigation that we can use so we're going to say navigation dot set options so that we can set the options right we can set the options and then update the things we have over there so within the options we still want to target the header right want to target, target the header right now let's see what copilot is giving us okay so we are seeing header right so within the options we are seeing header right right like just what we did in the in the app.js just that this time we are doing it in the actual screen we want it to work in so we have the header right we have this button here now instead of having a letter i'm going to say count and on the on press events instead of having this alert here the goal here is to make the value of count increase anytime the button is clicked so we're going to pass in a function here and we are going to see um, this so let's see c, let's put a prop here say c okay no instead of doing this let's actually say set, we're going to set the count to a function that's going to update it anytime it's clicked so i'm going to say c which is a count right you can just say count plus c equals c plus sorry c plus one like so so what this simply simply does is what this is going to do is um, on click of the button on click of this count button is going to increase or set count to sub count plus one okay so anytime you click on count the value of count is going to increase by one okay so right now count is zero so when the button is clicked count becomes one when it's clicked again it becomes two three and so on so let's see if this is working so let's move to the detail screen and then where we have the count button click on the button and then you can as you can see the value is being updated now this 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 feature actually comes in handy if you are building an application where you want to have a button in the header but then you want the the, um, the button to manipulate data on the actual application right so to do that you need information from that particular screen you can't have that on the stacks right so if we wanted to do this on the stacks here assuming we wanted to do this on the stacks here how is that going to be possible you get it because we are going to need the state we are going to need the value of the state we are going to need the text component you know we are going to need all these things but then we are not going to have it on the stacks here we only have them in the detail screen so what we can do is within the stack of the screen we want to use it in we set a placeholder button right so this button is just a placeholder button and then within the screen we set the head the navigation options here like so in a use effect block and then pass in the function we want to use this time so this is it for this video um, hopefully you've learned something new and you've seen how you can add buttons to the header and make it manipulate the state of your application if you've indeed learned something do well to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel to grow the channel and grow the community and i'm going to appreciate that a lot thank you very much for watching up to this point thank you very much for following along and catch you in the next video.